Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress multi-user. We're going to use 10 very easy steps to get this done. And once you know what you're doing, you'll be able to do it in probably 5 minutes or less. So step number one is download the files that you need. We're going to navigate to mu.wordpress.org and click on download. Download the zip file. And I have it here. Then you will unpack the zip file and you'll get a folder called WordPress-MU. At this point, you should decide if you want to have your installation directly on the root or if you want it to exist under a subdirectory. If you're going to have it in a subdirectory, then you can rename this folder to anything you want and upload the entire folder to your server. But today, we're just going to take all of the files that are inside there and put them directly on the root. So now, step number two is to upload the files. So grab your FTP client. I'm using FileZilla, but you can use whatever you want. Go inside that folder, select all your files, and click Upload. While that's doing its magic, you can go ahead and create a database. Step number three is create a MySQL database. So I'm inside cPanel. And I'm going to make a new database and call it DLMU. Click Create Database. And then we're going to make a new user. And I'm going to use the same username as the database name and a password of password. This is very generic. You would never want to do this in a real installation. But we're going to do it just for the demo. Okay, click go back. Now we want to add the user that we created to our database. So we're going to find the user in here match it to the database, click Add, and we want to give our user all privileges. Click Make Changes, and you're done! Okay, moving on to step number four. We're going to navigate to index.php at the domain where we put all of our WordPress files. So make sure that all your files are there, and then go to your domain, and you should see a screen that looks like this. Here we can decide if we want to have our blogs on subdirectories or subdomains. If you're going to use subdomains, then you have to have wildcard DNS enabled with your host, and you would probably have to call them to get them to enable that. Subdirectories is a little bit easier because you don't have to do anything with your host, so we're going to use that for our demo. And then we're going to fill in our database details in step number seven. So we'll put the name of the database there, and we're going to just copy that for the username. Password was password, and we'll leave database host alone. Set your server address, and make sure not to use any www's. And then make a title for your blog. and enter your email. Congratulations! You've successfully installed. Now, you want to just copy the password it generated for you. And you can click on Login. What it's reminding you of here is to change your directory permissions back. We didn't do that in this demo, but um, sometimes you might have to. So go ahead and change those back 
to 755 on your server. Click on login. Your username is admin and the password that you copy. And you should see a dashboard that looks something like this. Now you're all done. If you want to go ahead and excuse me, if you want to go ahead and create a blog just to make sure that it's working, you can. So since we selected subdirectory, then we can just name it back here in our dashboard. I'm going to call this one test. Test blog. And you'll want to just go ahead and put in an email and click add blog. And then it will send the password to that email and then they can log in with that and change their password. Speaking of changing your password, this is something you probably want to do right away. Click on admin, go down here, and enter your new password. Whoops, ours didn't match. Okay. The only thing else that you might want to do is go ahead and enable registrations. So you click on options. And you want to enable blogs and user accounts to be created. Then you'll click on update options. And you're done.